What's up YouTube? It's your boy Kyle, back at it again with some new projects and or hobbies, whatever you want to call. Um, stay tuned for my latest project because uh, it's coming and it's going to be fun. So the first part of the multi-part series that I'm actually doing is me using one shape to uh, design a toy piston. His ultimate goal is to build an entire engine just to kind of teach myself how to use the CAD software and how to set up and use on a 3D printer, resin or a PLA. I bought both printers. I've actually had the resin printer for about a year now. <laughs> And the funny story with that is it's the 3D resin that I had was actually uh, two years old by the time I went to go use it. So the first time I went to go print with it was not fun. Very messy. But with this, I'm trying to learn the skills of one setting it up. The printer, you know, getting the layers right. Basically, so the quality is not top notch, but, you know, good enough so I could put together a toy engine so to speak. If you look here, this is me actually building this just a piston part. I wanted to start with the piston that's kind of set the dimensions of the rest of the um, toy or engine, so to speak. And me coming from a uh, mechanic background, I kind of know what an engine looks like in and out. So I can kind of set the dimensions how I please. Basically, I started, I think it was, what, uh, three inches in diameter. And then I did basically started building up the ring lands and where all the rings are going uh, piece by piece. I know there's probably faster ways to do this on shaping and extruding this stuff and making it more, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, efficient. But, you know, I got it done. I think it took me probably about uh, three and a half hours or so just to build the piston section. And then basically what I did was kind of from there, I set my dimensions, especially where the uh, wrist pin would go. And that's what it's normally called, where it connects the rod to the piston. So I set the dimensions there. I think I used like half an inch. And then when I designed to the wrist pin, I actually designed it so it had some kind of clearance in between there. Just so, like I said, this thing is a toy. It's not gonna actually run. It'd be nice to, but I set it up so that everything had enough clearance that if I did build a block section, I could put it in the block section. But I'm just doing step by step, building each part one by one and to be fair, I started on the rod in the rings already, but I'm fairly certain I made the rod a little too big for uh, this application, so I might have to go back and redesign it. So this is where I started working on the inside of the piston, and this was kind of challenging for me because I was actually trying to learn how to use all the tools for the first time on this software. It did teach me a lot, especially how to use the fillet tool, how to draw ovals, so it's like pretty easy software to learn. Um, I did watch a couple of videos online and I didn't really have anybody to, to shout out to, but it definitely helped that a lot of people are using this and there's a really good uh, community of people using this because I was able to learn a lot just from watching, you know, 15, 20 minutes of uh, YouTube videos on how to do it. It's actually pretty, pretty entertaining uh, watching people build <laughs> certain things and then you kind of like make it your own and try to use the same techniques that they used on your own project. So this is what I had to do with this, basically to uh, basically make it look like a real piston on the inside. Even though none of this is, you know, going to actually be useful in the design of it. Because, you know, it's not handling any kind of pressure or anything like that. It's a toy. But uh, setting the dimensions and cutting out the holes for the wrist pin were kind of uh, entertaining for me. Trying to figure out how to cut it out and, you know, slice it out. So you'll see me throughout this video where I've tried something and it doesn't work and then I go back and try it again. For example, you can see where I tried to cut it out and it cut out like half the circle or the cylinder for the wrist pin. So you have to do it in steps in order for it to work and line up correctly. So getting your extrusions right or cut out extrusions right in order to get it to uh, line up and make sure your part is precise. So it, it took some uh, finagling so to speak, in order to knock it out. The last little bit I do is uh, basically using the fillet tool in order to round out edges, in order to get the dome for the piston. Like I said, this was me kind of learning how to use it. 
and the finished product actually turned out pretty good. Um, and I'll show you guys me 3D printing it as well. As soon as I'm done uh, <laughs> printing it out, I think the first like rendition of it, I did like a half size of what it's actually supposed to be. And uh, it actually turned out pretty, pretty good at a very low quality. So I'll uh, take a video of me printing it out and uh, show you guys what it looks like for the finished product. But this is a, uh, this is the 3D model so far for the first pet. Well, first part or first piece anyways so I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video there's gonna be multiple parts to this so you figure um, every part I make in 3d I'm gonna be printing it out so there'll be a video for me making it and a video of me 3d printing it so just guys stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy these videos thank you